Hi everyone, I'm Alejandro with Alta Robotics. In this video, we are going to manually update the firmware on Evo. Welcome to the Flight Deck. To perform this update, you'll need your aircraft, remote controller, a computer, micro SD card, and a card reader. You'll be able to see the progress of your update on your remote controller's OLED screen, so you won't need your mobile device. Let's get started by removing the micro SD card from the aircraft. Plug the card into your card reader and connect the reader to your computer. Now, let's head over to autorobotics.com. Hover over support and then choose downloads. Here, you can download the latest firmware file and find the release notes. Choose Evo to begin the download. Depending on your web browser, you may need to right click on Evo and choose save as. Firmware updates come in the form of a .bin file. This is a binary file that contains all the updates for your Evo. Now that you've downloaded the firmware file, you'll need to copy the file from the computer to the micro SD card. You can find this file by navigating to the folder you selected to download the file. By default, the file will usually go to your computer's downloads folder. Right click on the .bin file and choose copy. Then open the folder for your micro SD card. This micro SD card folder often appears as an external drive on your computer. Paste the .bin file into the root folder of your card. This means that the file should just be on the card with no folders enclosing it. Now that the firmware update is copied onto the micro SD card, let's safely eject the card from your computer. To do this on a Mac, right click the drive and choose eject. If you're using a PC, click the USB icon on your toolbar and choose safely eject. Now, remove the micro SD card from the reader and insert it into the aircraft. Next, power on the remote controller. Make sure to do this step before powering on the aircraft. Remove your gimbal lock from the camera, then power up your Evo. On your controller's OLED screen, you'll see the firmware update automatically start within 30 seconds. This firmware update can take up to 30 minutes to complete. Once the update is completed, a message will appear if the firmware update was successful. If a component fails, a list of each component will appear and a red X will indicate which component failed. If all of the components successfully updated, power off the aircraft and remote controller. If you encountered a failed update, you can repeat this process by downloading the firmware update again from autorobotics.com. If you have multiple batteries, you will need to update each battery to the latest firmware if applicable. You can check the current release notes to confirm if your batteries need an update. To update an additional battery on the Evo, remove the micro SD card after you've completed a successful firmware update. And connect the micro SD card back to your computer. Open your micro SD card folder and paste the .bin file again. Now, safely eject the micro SD card and insert it back into the aircraft. Power on the controller and then the aircraft. The Evo will skip the completed updates and start the new battery update. Complete this process for each battery. If you are encountering any issues with your firmware update, please reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching and so long from the flight deck.